30 fucking minutes of extreme levels of chaotic guitar solos, howls, growls, and shouts from the Noi, Alv, and Jay Rocco's pounding of the drums and M.A.'s fucking shred skills. Pagan Fire in November 2021 came back at us with a six song long EP album called Of Death Blades and Blood So Pads. And just like Reeking Fear and Death and the 30 plus other cassette tapes that I own that are either an EP or a split that contain uh, even from a few to multiple Pagan Fire tracks, Pagan Fire has returned a couple years ago with this fucking furiously fast and unforgiving piece of a metal masterpiece. Is it 2.30 a.m. in a Red Doors uh, hotel in Gazon City in the bathroom? Yes, it is. Why? Because my wife is sleeping in that room. And, you know, I've listened to this album a handful of times since its release. I do not know it physically. I only know it digitally, which is actually one of the... Uh, there aren't that many Pagan Fire albums that I do not own physically. This the only reason I don't own this one physically is just because uh, when it when it first came out, it wasn't uh, I wasn't able to get it. However, that's gonna change very soon. But it's six tracks long, and from the moment you hit play to the moment it finishes, there's never a slowdown. There's never a rest. It's just constant and it's a chaotic. Colorful guitar solos, tempo breakdowns, just sulfuric acid burning your mind and your soul and just everything. And down a liter of red horse, or maybe two of them, depending on your alcohol tolerance. And you will just become morphed into this project. You know, I'm more into hardcore punk, noise music, and little old school hip hop, but. Pagan Fire, I saw, you know, Pagan Fire was, other than Dirty Rotten Imbeciles, they're the first metal band that I've truly, truly, truly gotten into. I mean, I, at this point, I love Slayer, I love Pathogen, Sacrosanct, uh, Garote. I saw Pagan Fire, my buddy Nanoi Pedro, he's like a brother to me. I saw them live on February 4th, 2023, at the Scream Bar in Quezon City. And it was the first time I had seen them live. And from listening to their music on the cassette tapes, CDs, and the records that I have of them, to seeing them just go obliteration mode hard, just fucking just shredding it up right in front of me, truly, it, it truly helped me to understand just how beautiful and just destructive metal of a genre truly is. Just, it was my first metal show. I wanted to do this review over this album, but also just talk about Pagan Fire as a band, because before the February 4th show, I had never seen a metal band live. Of course, I've been to hardcore punk shows, I've been to a few rap shows here and there, but I've never been to a true underground metal show, and just the power and the fury that comes from this band whether it's live or whether it's through a piece of recorded material, the guitar solos, the tightness that the band has, the chemistry of the band from the drums, the bass, the guitar, and the vocals, the chemistry that it has, it's just, it's unlike anything I've ever truly heard before. And you know, yeah, like, okay, when, when I say Pagan Fire is the first metal band that I've really gotten into. Yes, I've obviously heard dozens of metal bands, hundreds of metal bands. Over, I'm 29. I've heard lots of metal. It's just something about Pagan Fire's music, their sound, their chemistry, just the way they come across hits me because although I'm not fluent in Tagalog or some of their music using Tagalog and I don't understand all the lyrics and even some of the English music I need a lyric sheet for, I'm not going to lie. Just the expression, the, the way that it comes across, the speed, the talent, the fury, the passion, the raw aggression that comes out of their music, it, it hits me. It just makes me, it, it's actually rather relaxing to be honest. 
it's rather relaxing, especially when I'm stressed or when I'm trying to sleep at night. I put it on, and it just helps to soothe my mind and put me into that 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 spot that I need to be in. And that's what I really love about Pagan Fire. Not just them, but Pathogen too, and you know a lot of the other metal bands like that that just have that bold fury to them. You know, metal just. I, my first technical metal band, if you want to call them that, was DRI, Dirty Right M Souls. With uh, you know, they started out early, early '80s hardcore thrash, and then they later, later in their later years, went in the cr- uh, full speed ahead, where they crossed over into thrash metal with some more soul, colorful solos and whatnot. But just the fast solos. And the storytelling and the lyrics, like the executor is back, the false protector, the storytelling and this the this, the the lyric pardon me, Red Horse. The the lyrics, you know, just the, the listening to Nanoi and Al just shouting about <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any of I don't have any of it truly really memorized, but I just love what I'm hearing. I love what I'm hearing. It's powerful, it's bold, and I love to just sit there and play some air guitar and some air drums and just thrash around the room. Just thrash and just let all of that, <clears throat> just let all that out of me, you know? That's like you can just, it's a good way to just fucking unwind unlike anything else. You know, it's it just, man. When I saw Pig and Fire live, I went, I was practically deaf for two days. Like, my hearing, I remember the night, the, the night of the show afterwards when I was interviewing them, I had tinnitus. I had a high-pitched squeal in both of my ears. It took two nights for me to get my hearing back to normal. It was well worth it because, man, just hearing that just blazingly chaotic, Furious, just raw, aggressive music blasting in my face it was just amazing. And their new EP album of blood soaked, pa- of death blades and blood soaked pads, it just does fucking justice. You don't need to understand Tagalog to be able to enjoy this project. You don't need to even be able to understand the lyrics to enjoy this process. I mean, it does kind of help a little bit because you know you. It, it, it's nice to be able to read the lyrics and to hear, to hear the man saying. But just from a musical perspective, to listen to this project, to listen to this album by Pig and Fire, and to just feel it, feel the raw aggression, it'll just set your soul on fucking fire. It just will. And that's what I feel when I'm listening to this. And, you know, I can't wait until they release their third album and so forth and on. It was an honor to be able to see them live. The noise of my best friends and like a brother to me. I really appreciate him inviting me to that show. And man, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Please go give their newest material a listen. Thank you so much for watching this review of Pagan Fire and their newest EP, Love Death Blade and Blood Soap Paths. Please check it out.